हेलो किड्स टुडे आई विल टेल यू द स्टोरी टैरेंस टर्टल्स न्यू होम ऑन अ ह्यूज माउंटेन इन अ बिग फॉरेस्ट देयर वाज अ मीडियम साइज्ड मीडो एंड अ स्मॉल पॉन्ड इन दिस स्मॉल पॉन्ड लिव्ड टैरेंस द टर्टल एंड हिज टू बेस्ट बडीज सैम एंड सैली स्वैन Oh you may think it or that a turtle and swans were buddies really true friends but i assure you they were every day the three of them would search the pond for food swim together and play games and tell stories on the shore when it got dark sam and sally would return to their nest under a large tree and parents to his den on the shore by their tree One year there was very little rain and the pond began to dry up the three friends were concerned and talked about what they should do we should stay here said terence the rain always comes and the pond has been our home since we were born i don't think the pond will last said sally i think we need to find a new home said sam then sam flew away in search of a new pond After several days Sam returned to find the pond almost dry and his friends not doing well at all Sam Terence shouted excitedly We are so glad to see you the pond is almost dry Sally is hungry and scared and my shell is starting to crack Did you find a new home Yes said Sam It is beautiful but very far away and I don't know how you will get there The three talked for a long time then Terrace said I will stay here and dig deep into my den and the two of you you my true friends fly to your new home no shouted Sally we will all go there has to be a way said Sam the three sat under the bright sun in silence thinking of a way to get to the far away pond I know how to do it shouted Terence see see that stick he said to Sam Sally and you will each take an ant in your bill and I will bite it in the middle then you can fly to our new home while I hang on to the stick we can all be together again the three sat in silence thinking about Terence's idea It will work said Sally I agree said Terence maybe said Sam Sam looked at Terence and Sally for a few minutes and said yes I think it will work but none of us can talk or open our mouth no matter what does everyone understand does very one agree yes said Sally I agree too said Terence Terence Sam firmly said it is most important that you do not talk or open your mouth remember you can fly you can't fly i understand said terence it in minutes sally and sam each had the stick firmly held in their bills sam opened his mouth and bit down on the stick they were off sally swan and sam swan flew side by side separated by a stick with terence turtle hanging in the middle it was a very strange but funny sight As they flew climbing higher and higher no one dared talk or open their mouth faster and faster higher and higher Sally and Sam flew Terence was terrified As they passed over a town they could hear the people talking and laughing look look up in the sky shouted one boy What is it asked another as the people looked up they began to laugh at the strange sight they laughed whistled hooted and hollered at the silly swan scaring a turtle on a stick Terence heard all the noise but could not look down to see what was going on ignoring the advice that Sam had given him he opened his mouth to ask him what was happening before he could say a word he was falling and looking up at his flying friends Oh don't worry Terence didn't get hurt you see they were close enough to their new home so Terence fell into the big deep pond but not listening to his true friend could have ended it differently for him In this story a classic fable of friendship between two swans and a turtle the novel retelling and presentation of the story is sure to become a favorite pet time recreation for all the little readers if you like then share like and subscribe our channel thank you kids